Hey everyone, it's Kelly. Thanks for joining me today. I am back again with a layout for Hip Kit Club. And for my layout today, I am going to be using the 2016 October kits. I just received them this weekend and could not wait to start playing with them. And for my layout today, I'm actually going to be scrapbooking five photos. And you can see here that four out of the five are printed really small. And I typically don't print my photos at this size, and this really wasn't an exception. These are actually photos that were included in our Christmas card last year. This was just a card. I think I made it at Snapfish. And the pictures are actually from a photo session that we had done last year, and I knew I wanted to scrapbook them, and I thought the photos at this size would be a lot of fun to pair with this cut file. So this cut file is one of the exclusive cut files and it was designed by Kim Watson. It was one of the September cut files and I've cut it on one of the pattern papers that's included in the main kit. This is the pattern paper from the Pink Paisley Take Me Away collection and I've already decided where I want to place my photos on the cut file. So I'm just trimming off a few of those birds where the photos are going to lay so that way they don't get in the way because I want the photos to tuck behind the lines on the cut file. So now I'm going to start embellishing the layout and I do grab multiple ephemera pieces from the We Are Memory Keepers Honey I'm Home collection and I do use multiple pieces from the Dear Lizzie Saturday ephemera pack. The We Are Memory Keepers pack is included in the embellishment kit and the Dear Lizzie ephemera pack is included in the main kit and I'm just going to create clusters around each of the photos on the layout. Now I'm working on creating a fishtail banner towards the center of the layout and those are actually paper flags from the Simple Stories Posh collection that are included in the Project Life kit. So this layout came together rather quickly which is unusual for me. I typically am a very slow scrapbooker. My favorite part about scrapbooking is the creative process so I typically don't have ideas in mind when I sit down at my desk to scrapbook. I just kind of let the creative process take over and I usually pick the products I want to use and the photo that I want to use and then just take my time to put it together. But this was an idea that I had in mind. I had actually been thinking about it for about a week or so, but I knew I wanted to wait for my October kits to arrive before I tried to translate the idea from my head onto paper. I typically don't like to have an idea in mind when I sit down to scrapbook because sometimes I find it frustrating when it doesn't go as smoothly as I expected because I do struggle from time to time to get the idea from my head onto the paper. And I know I've heard other scrapbookers talk about that. They have these really great ideas, but when they sit down and they try to get it out and get it onto paper, it just doesn't work. So I was really happy that this came together as smoothly as it did. All of the products in the hip kits coordinate together so well that I knew that I would have plenty to choose from, especially working with these smaller photos. I knew that I would have ephemera pieces and embellishments and things like that that I could pair with these super small photos that still would look great and it wouldn't overwhelm or take away from the photo. So I am really, really happy with how this turned out. So while I was talking, I did add a couple more pieces to the layout. I did fussy cut out that yellow circle from one of the Project Life cards, and then I did bring in a puffy sticker from the We Are Memory Keepers Honey I'm Home collection. The puffy sticker sheet is included in the embellishment kit. As you see there, I just trimmed another one of the birds from the cut file. I wanted to scoot that photo more to the left and to kind of include a little bit bigger photo cluster and I just keep playing with embellishments. I really like these gold foil pieces. Those are all from the Dear Lizzie Saturday ephemera pack that is included in the main kit. I am going to bring in this fishtail banner but I'm going to cut the fishtail off because it was a little too large for the photo that I had there. In just a moment, I'm going to bring in some of the clear stickers from the Simple Stories Posh collection that are included in the Project Life kit. Right now, I'm just kind of sizing them up to see what stickers will fit where. And I've moved on to adhering everything down to the layout. I do want to add some stitching to the lines on the cut file, but I want the photos and the ephemera pieces to be tucked behind those lines. So the stitching is actually going to be on top of the ephemera pieces and on top of the photos. So I need to have everything pretty much secured to the layout before I take it over to my sewing machine. I did trim that top frame in half because I'm gonna tuck the other part of the frame on the opposite side of the photo to make it look like one long continuous photo mat. 
So while I'm working on adhering all of this down, I will give you a little background information on these photos. I know they're small, so it might be hard to see, but these photos are very, very special to us. I, as I mentioned, they are from a photo session we had done last year. And my sister is actually a photographer. So she came to town. She lives about an hour away. She came to town and took our photos. We, uh, in the town that we live in, we have a historical society nearby that we can go to. And there's these really old, beautiful homes. And there's a lot of trees and a wooded area. And it's just a really nice place to take photos. And the main reason we wanted to have these done is we have three dogs. We have two boys who will be 11 in just a couple weeks. And then we also have a girl. She is from the same parents as the boys. She is just a year younger. And we have never had our photo taken with them. And our dogs are very much our children. We call them our fur children, our fur babies. And we knew that they were getting older in age and we knew that we wanted to have these photos with them. So it was perfect that it was my sister, you know, we're comfortable with her and she was very patient with us. Our dogs are very well behaved. So it wasn't a big issue of them wanting to run around. And they actually did very well with the photos. Um, and almost all of them, they are looking at the camera, all three of them at the same time. So my sister did a fantastic job of getting these pictures, these family photos with our dogs and these are photos that we will absolutely cherish forever and I am so 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 thankful and grateful that we had it done it was actually my husband's idea he wanted to make sure that we had photos taken with them professional photos taken with them so I am so happy that we did it and they turned out fantastic I can't get over how well they turned out all right so back to the layout that photo cluster that I'm messing with on the bottom left I did add a photo map behind that photo that I have there in my hand. And that is actually from one of the frames included in the We Are Memory Keepers Honey I'm Home ephemera pack. It's actually the negative piece from the frame, so the center part of the frame. But since my photos are so small, it worked out perfect to use it as a photo mat. And it adds just a bit of color and just a little bit more dimension in that area. And typically I would throw those things away almost immediately, but I am so glad that I hung on to that. So keep that in mind when you're going through your ephemera packs. Even the negative pieces can be used as an embellishment or as a layering piece or as a journaling spot. So just a little tip there to keep that in mind when you're going through those ephemera packs. Okay, so everything is adhered down. I did add the stitching. I did pretty much a straight stitch all the way around the cut file, except for the area that has the gold banner and the fishtail banner. I did a zigzag stitch in that area. And I think I forgot to mention, but my background is American Crafts textured white cardstock that is included in the cardstock kit. And now I'm going to go through and just try to add some small embellishments here and there just for a little extra detail. I did bring in those wood veneer hearts by the large photo and those are from the we are memory keepers honey i'm home collection those wood veneer pieces are included in the main kit so now i'm just going to bring in a couple more of the clear stickers from the simple stories posh collection just for a little added detail here and there off camera i do add a title i was looking at the layout thinking it was finished and i realized that i never put a title on there so after i had turned the camera off i added the title it's just going to be the word family and i do use the exclusive puffy alpha stickers that come in the main kit they're this really pretty coral color you will see them in the close-ups at the end and i also add in a couple more of the puffy stickers from the we are memory keepers honey i'm home collection and I just position those right next to the title. I just need to adhere down those wood veneer hearts and then this layout is pretty much finished. And now I'm gonna leave you with those close-ups. I had so much fun putting together this layout. I will make sure to link to the Hip Kit Club in the description below so you can head over and check out the October kits. I will be back again very soon with another process video. And as always, thank you so, so much for watching.